Now, your flash briefing from Channel 3 Eyewitness News, sponsored by Ion Bank, your financial services partner. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kevin Hogan. Governor Ned Lamont's office released the latest numbers today, and for the second straight day, the number of hospitalizations in our state has gone down. In the last 24 hours, the number of hospitalizations in Connecticut dropped by 37. Here's a look at the other numbers. Right now, there are almost 18,000 cases of COVID-19 in our state. More than 1,100 people have lost their lives. Today, several state parks closed after their parking lots reached full capacity. In the age of social distancing, the state DEP wants to make sure people are following guidelines and its new rules. DEP Commissioner Kate Dykes reminding people to enjoy the state parks for some alone time or with your immediate household family and use this time for exploration instead of going to the popular spots. The Connecticut DEP wants to make sure that boaters are practicing safe distancing as well during this pandemic as the boating season gets underway. With boat launches and ramps open, the Connecticut Department of Energy and Environmental Protection wants to make sure during the increased demands at launches that boaters are aware of their vulnerability. The DEP manages 117 free boat launches and they plan on monitoring the increased activity at the launches and may adjust public access to ensure everyone's safety. And stay with Channel 3 for continuing coverage of the coronavirus outbreak. We'll keep you updated both on air and on the Channel 3 app. Well, we do have a cloudier night coming tonight. We'll see temperatures bottoming out in the upper 30s and lower to mid 40s. We've got Hartford pegged at 42, maybe 46 in New Haven, but a few towns could see upper 30s by the time you wake up tomorrow. Then tomorrow, we expect temperatures to be in the 50s to maybe near 60 degrees. We will have a lot of clouds in the sky. I don't expect too many showers. Maybe one or two may pass. A lot of us, I think, will just have dry weather tomorrow and just a lot of clouds until the end of the day when we might see a little more sun. Then we have an early warning weather alert for Tuesday because partly sunny skies in the morning will lead to some scattered showers and storms during the afternoon. And some of those during the afternoon could be strong. Watch Eyewitness News for the latest updates. This is your personalized flash briefing sponsored by Ion Bank, your financial services partner.